very early in the history of life, organisms began to use cholesterol. Among other roles, it is an essential component of the cell membrane, which prevents the membrane from being too fluid. Also early in the history of life, Enzymes which metabolize cholesterol must have evolved, such as the enzyme of the cytochrome P450 superfamily. An organism's normal functioning requires the detoxification of hormones and ingested xenobiotic compounds. In the three domains of life, more than 2,000 cytochrome P450 enzymes are known, which have been classified into hundreds of families. Cytochrome P450 enzymes can be found in bacteria, although while some bacteria don't possess any of these enzymes, others may possess more than 20. They function in a number of metabolic pathways, including the metabolism of pollutants and drug resistance. Cytochrome P450 enzymes are known in plants, and a plant may possess more than 200 different genes in this family. They may function in biosynthesis and herbicide resistance. In insects, cytochromes function in development and in resistance to toxins found in pesticides and ingested plants. About 90 cytochrome P450 enzymes are known in fruit flies. Almost all of the subfamilies of the cytochrome P450 enzymes known in mammals are also known in fish, indicating that the branching of the family tree occurred deeper in vertebrate history. Humans possess more than 50 of these enzymes, and they can break down fatty acids, sterols, steroids, and the vitamins A and D. One of the most significant risks of breast in this animation is lifelong exposure to estrogen. One can estrogen see that there are a variety of cytochrome P450 enzymes which are involved in the synthesis of estrogen as each intermediate is converted to the next one in the chain. Ultimately, estrogen is made from enzymes which are required to catalyze the spinal transformation. Humans often vary in the forms of these enzymes which have their genes in code, and so therefore we can vary in our or responses to nicotine. Because estrogen is synthesized as part of a pathway involving many proteins, to other there are a number of polymorphisms and variations in genes which can increase the production of estrogen. So some women make more estrogen than others, and genetic variants such as the genes drugs, here can increase cancer risk. Our ability to break down carcinogen. around tumor tissue, suggesting that this was and one of the reasons these cells became cancerous. The increased production of estrogen around the cancer cells themselves. The gene is sometimes changed into a so that different signals, such as those cyclic AMP activate the gene in cancer cells, which is unusual. Yeah, those of the breast and the cancer cells can make their own estrogen. The differences in how we must have levels of estrogen in breast tissue and tissue of the tumor itself can be higher than that of the breast tissue. The difference in the breast tissue and the tumor itself can be higher than that of the breast tissue and the tumor itself can be higher than that of the breast tissue and the tumor itself can be higher than that of the breast tissue and the tumor itself can be higher than that of the breast tissue and the tumor itself can be higher than that of the breast tissue and the tumor itself can be higher than that of the